Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about endocrine system, the system of chemical coordination in our body. The endocrine system basically regulates growth, water balance, reproduction, metabolism, calcium and glucose levels, response to stress. This it does by means of various glands such as pituitary, ovaries, testes, thyroid, parathyroid, pancreas, adrenal. Now let us talk about the two types of glands. In our body there are two types of glands, exocrine and endocrine. Exocrine glands they release secretions such as enzymes through the ducts, for example sweat, tears, digestive juices etc. Whereas endocrine glands they secrete their secretions directly to the bloodstream and they do not possess ducts and their secretions are known as hormones. The endocrine system is basically composed of three components, glands, hormones and target cells. Glands, glands they release their products to the bloodstreams directly and their products are known as hormones which are delivered uh, which, which are basically delivering messages to the body whereas target cells they have specific receptors for specific hormones the, this picture basically talks about the different types of endocrine glands that are found inside our body let us now proceed with each of these glands one by one the first gland is pituitary gland which is present at the base of the brain it is said to be the master gland because it controls the other endocrine glands. It basically secretes growth hormone and antidiuretic hormone. Growth hormone regulates the growth of the body and hypersecretion of this hormone leads to di gigantism whereas hyposecretion leads to dwarfism. On the other hand, antidiuretic hormone stimulates kidneys to maintain the water balance. Next is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is attached to the pituitary and it is the major part of the forebrain. And its major, fu major function is to control the pituitary secretions. Then we have the thyroid gland. As you can see in the diagram, the thyroid gland is present in front of the neck just below the larynx and it's a bilobed gland. Thyroid gland regulates metabolism and energy balance in our body. There are two basic hormones secreted by these, this gland, thyroxine that regulates body energy usage and calcitonin that regulates calcium and phosphate in the blood. Now there is a time to test what you have learned till now. What are the two hormones that the thyroid secretes? What is the function of thyroxine? What is the function of calcitonin? If you are able to answer this question, then we are ready to move forward. The next type of glands are the adrenal glands. As you can see in the diagram, these glands are present as a capping above the kidneys and they release hormones to deal with the stress conditions. Adrenal gland has two major parts, cortex and medulla. Cortex produces more than two dozen steroid hormones and corticosteroids, whereas medulla, it helps to fight the conditions of fight or flight. That means when we are under excitement and it secretes two hormones, epinephrine and norepinephrine. Have you heard about glucose regulation? Do you know there are two ways of glucose regulation? Eating regularly and hormone adjustments. Now let's move to pancreas. Pancreas, it is said to be a heterocrine gland because it has both endocrine and exocrine parts. The exocrine part of the pancreas, it participates in digestion by secreting various digestive enzymes. Whereas the endocrine part, it is the ductless part that releases hormones directly into the bloodstream. Now again the time for the second type of questions. What do endocrine glands secrete and what do exocrine glands secrete? Are you able to answer the questions? If yes, then let's continue. Now let's talk about the blood glucose level. Pancreatic hormones, they regulate blood glucose sugar level before and after the meals. They possess islets of Langerhans that are the cluster of cells in pancreas that secrete alpha and that basically possess alpha and beta cells. The alpha cells secrete glucagon that increase the blood sugar level, whereas beta cells secrete insulin that decrease the blood sugar level. Now what basically happens exactly? Between the meals, the blood glucose level goes low. So pancreas secrete glucagon, liver changes glycogen to glucose and glucose is sent to the target tissues. Whereas after the meal, blood glucose level is high. So pancreas secrete glu insulin. So glucose uh, goes to the liver right, and glycogen is formed and then it goes to the target tissues. 
this diagram it basically talks about the regulation of pancreas for the blood glucose level so you can clearly see that how glucagon and insulin work hand in hand to lower or to raise the blood sugar level again the time for testing are you able to answer these questions what organ regulates glucose and blood when we eat our blood glucose level is high or low in between meals our blood glucose level is high or low when our blood glucose is high the pancreas secretes which hormone when our blood glucose level is low the pancreas secretes which hormone what mechanism allows our body to control the glucose level in our body now let's move forward if you are able to answer these questions let us talk about diabetes diabetes is a condition of high sugar levels in blood basically in a diabetic patient the blood does not produce enough insulin to control the blood sugar level so some people have to take insulin injections to regulate the blood sugar level now let's talk about the reproductive glands the reproductive glands they participate in production of kidneys and secretion of the sex hormones there are basically two types of glands in females we have ovaries which basically secrete estrogen and progesterone whereas in males we are having testes that produce testosterone thank you for watching the presentation i hope you people have learned a lot through this presentation